Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dinkum video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make your Dinkum experience even better using mods. Now I will show you how to install them and I will be showcasing the best ones that I have found. Now don't get me wrong, I really like the game as it is. So I've tried to find some mods that will just improve the game's quality of life. I have found this mod called Better Vanilla, which just makes the vanilla Dinkum experience even better. Just simple things like showing you whether your bugs or fish have been donated to the museum showing you how much certain items are worth and even automatically picking up items so you don't have to constantly right click or hold the right click now to download this mod it is really simple and really easy first of all all you need to do is download bep nx6 which i'll leave the link down in the description now once you head over to the link you'll be greeted with this one you just want to continue over to the external site and it will automatically download it here as you can see once you have downloaded bep nx what you want to do is you want to open the folder here and you want to copy these over to into dinkum's directory folder the easiest way to find that is by heading over to steam right click dinkum go to properties click on local files and browse and that will open up the local folder here what you want to do is you want to just copy these over to there just like that now once that is done what you want to do is you want to load up dinkum Once Dinkum has loaded up, you just want to quick to the desktop straight away. And once you go into this folder where it says BEP NX, you will see a plugins folder just there. Now that folder is where you want to copy your mod files into there for the game to run. And once you have completed that part, you can head over to Nexus Mods, which I will leave the link down in the description. And that will bring you to this web page here, which is where all the mods for Dinkum can be found. Now, as you can see, they have plenty of a very good quality of life mods. You've got the value tooltip, which will add a tooltip to items that display their value. The museum tooltip, which tells you what fish and what bugs have already been donated to the museum. They have an infinite wheelbarrow, which could be pretty fun, actually. Another one that I am very curious to try in is to craft some storage, which allows you to be able to craft items without having that item in the inventory. We'll use it straight from the storage. So I think that one's going to be a very good one. Now, the one we're going to be showcasing the video today is this one here, which is the better vanilla. So as you can see, it will automate pick up drop to items which are around the player now you can enable and disable this just by pressing p you can change that keybind there in the configuration file now with this mod it is highly customizable by going through the configuration file but if you don't want to delve that deep into it the default settings for it i think are absolutely brilliant with keeping the game very vanilla now you have another change in this one which is when the player sits on furniture either bench chair or anything they will regenerate stamina and health now this can be disabled if you want to keep it as realistic as possible this is set as on by default now bugs and fishes and underwater creatures can now be stacked as well so i think that will make things a lot easier that can also be disabled now disabled by default which i quite like i like this one that isn't activated which is a fish and bugs can be stored in container by all means if you want to you can turn it on i will run through how to run through how to configure stuff in the config file a bit later on in the video now the ones that i'm most cited for for this as well as the automatic pickup is the item sell value will be in the item description before you pick it up so it'll tell you how much that is actually worth now you will have to have the commerce license level one which i'm sure pretty much everyone has at this time and the big one that i think will help a lot of people in completing their museum is the bug fish and underwater creatures have been donated to the museum to the description in the inventory which just gives a little tick to show you whether you have or haven't but as i said i will showcase all of these in the video anyway but all you want to do is you want to head over to the better vanilla one but all you want to do when you're on the Dinkum better vanilla is just click on the top right here where it says manual download and it will just tell you that you need the additional files for BEP in X6 which we have so that's fine and we just want to download and then you just want to click on slow download here and you just want to wait for your download to be complete so when your download is complete you will see here that you have the application extension here and all you want to do is you want to open up your BEP in X folder and where it says plugins you just want to copy this straight into there 
like that and that means that your mods are active and it is as simple as that so let's head over into dinkum and i will showcase these mods for you so here we are back in dinkum as you can see i'm still in the process of moving things around but we have the mod installed and we're going to showcase a few things so first of all what we're going to do is showcase the fact that we can automatically pick things up so as you see without right clicking anything I can just automatically pick up anything that I sort of harvest. Now the good thing about this auto pickup is you see these logs all over the floor here. There are times where you don't want to pick them up and luckily with this auto pickup it doesn't automatically pick up things that the environment has left for you which is also good. Now the downside to this auto pickup when it is enabled if you try and drop something as you can see it will automatically pick it up but if we just press p on the keyboard as you can see there it says that the automatically pickup is now disabled so we can drop things so let's drop a few things and turn it back on and you will see how easy it will be to be able to automatically pick up items i tend to use the automatic pickup for when i am farming or i'm harvesting my trees and things just makes things a lot easier and just gives my finger a rest from right clicking so as you can see it is now enabled and when we run up to them it just automatically picks them up it just saves us having to right click all the time the next thing we are going to look at is the fact that now bugs and that will tell you if that been donated into the museum so we'll just catch a few bugs over here and this one over here as well and then when we go in our inventory as you can see for one they are stacking which is also a bonus it allows us to go on a fishing trip or bug catching trip without having to worry about our inventory too much. If we hover over it, as you can see there, the two mods, which are the one that tells you how much the items are worth, but also it tells you whether it's been donated to the museum or not. So as you can see, the blue moon butterfly I have donated, which is giving me a tick. So that is absolutely perfect. And if we go over the rest of the items in our inventory, a lot of these items I'll use for my moving and my building, it will tell me how much these items are worth. So we can decide whether we want to sell them or not. That's a really handy mod that is. I really like that design. Now the next one we're going to come across, which I think just makes life a little bit easier. Obviously, if you do want to take advantage of this, that is without having to, you know, use up food and bits and pieces like that, is the fact that you can recover stamina. So let's just run around for a bit and just use some of our stamina. Let's just mine some of this ore. And as you can see, the auto pickup is kicking in again. Just makes mining a lot easier as well. But as you can see we used some stamina so we're going to head over to a chair here and sit down and you will be able to see that the stamina does replenish so we'll sit down here we'll just wait a little while and as you can see where our stamina is the lightning bolt icon keeps pulsing and our stamina is increasing now i probably will turn this mod off to be honest i'm not sure if i quite like it i do feel it's a little bit cheaty being able to replenish your stamina but it all depends on whether the dev wants to implement that into the real game or not that is to be decided as of yet now disabling certain mods and things like that then takes us on to how to configure the mod so we'll head over to the configuration file and we can change the settings now just quickly before we do go into the configuration file something i forgot to mention at the beginning of the video i do recommend backing up your save so as you can see just here on my desktop i have a dinkum backup save now it's really simple and easy to do that you just want to right click onto dinkum in steam properties local files and just open up the folder location and then all you want to do is just go slightly back to your dinkum folder once you have do that done that what you want to do is you want to copy your dinkum folder just onto your desktop or somewhere else that you find easily accessible obviously you won't have the bep index folder in there when you do back up your data so just make sure you do that before you download the mods and stuff just to be on the safe side now going back to the configurations what you want to do is within the bep index folder if you just go on to the config file and you'll see here the spectral dinkum better vanilla you want to open up that and it will open it in notepad and this is where you can configure the files so we've got the auto pickup so 
the auto pickup key code is just the keybind that you can choose to enable and disable this the other thing we have with the auto pickup is just down here where it says is auto pickup enabled true that means that it is on and if we want to change that to off we can just put false or obviously we can just use the key within the game to do that in regards to inventory so as you can see fish stackable fish storageable and underwater creature stackable etc etc you can change these to true and false so if you do want to be able to put fish and underwater creatures into containers you just change this false value to a true value and that will allow you to put them into containers now a bit further down we have the minimap so you can use the plus and the minus on the keyboard to zoom in and out on the minimap now you can change the in-game speed you can also change the amount of relationship lost on requests and how much relationship gain i have left all of that as default but obviously you can change that if you want now in regards to the resting obviously you can change the amount of stamina and the amount of health that is restored whilst you are resting or you can just turn that completely off by changing this value of true into false so that is how you configure the mod to how you want it to be if that is what you decide to do so there we go everyone that is how to install mods and to use the better vanilla mod to improve it your quality of life in and around Dinkum. So hopefully you liked that video and you found it interesting. If you have any questions about how to install a mod or anything like that, just make sure you drop a comment down below and I will help you out with that question. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more content. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.